And now we're ready to line the spines. All of the books have rounded backs, and I'm going to set this up to do three at one time. Now I have pre-cut mall, which is a, a lining that will wrap around the book like this to fit between the kettle stitches and wrap around the book. So I'm going to put one piece of mall with each, with each book. And I've also cut lining paper. The lining paper is the same length as the book, minus about an eighth of an inch, and this will be used to, on top of the mall. I'll just put that underneath the mall. And I've also made the headband material. So we're going to start to glue these up now and then start to line them. The first thing we do is glue the spine all the way around, always running off the edges. And you notice when I'm doing three of these, it gives the glue enough time to develop a little bit of tack so that when I put the mull on, it will actually stick. Put the roller down, pick up the mull, and center this on the spine. I'm just going to put it into place lightly right now because the glue is still wet. Move to the next one. and move to the next one. Now I can take my folder and just rub this down and it will stay in place. I'm going to lift this up, put that underneath, make sure that there's a nice tight bond. Even as the glue starts to lose some of its tack, you can press the mull into it and it will be fine. It will stay on. Now I'll take the scissors and the headband material and I'll just trim off this rough edge and I'll take a print or an impression of glue on the headband material. and I can see how much to cut. Do this on each side because we're going to put a headband at the head and the tail. And cut. And you'll notice that I'm measuring each book as I do this. And that's because even though the book has been, all the books are virtually the same, there might be slight differences in their width and thickness just due to ordinary tension.
Okay, now we can just glue these up. Putting a little glue on the inside of the fabric here. Let that rest just a second. these in place on the spines. And you want to fit the top of the headband so it just comes across the top of the, uh, the head and the tail of the, of the book. And here you can see how the headband is in position on the spine. So now we can line it up with the paper. So take the roller again, and this time glue the whole spine, making sure that we fill them all with glue, because this will give the book strength so that it doesn't just flop open. You see how handy the roller is. You can just go from one book to the next without having to recharge because there's enough glue to do all three of these books. There's probably even enough to do the uh, fold over part of the lining. So now we'll take the lining paper and we set this right on to the edge of the spine, centering it on top of the headbands in the mall. And I just let it sit for a moment because the glue is still wet and I don't want to you know, sort of like force it right now. So once this is like you know, laid in with a good edge at the top, then we'll be able to wrap it around. 